So if you want to create a slideshow in Premiere Pro, this video is going to teach you exactly how. We're going to be showing you how to import your photos, how to add motion to your photos, how to add music, how to add transitions between your photos, and finally how to export the video. First step, images. I'm here at motionarray.com. You can get your images from anywhere you want. Coming up to images and selecting photos. I'm gonna go ahead and search for sports. I am going to download these into a new folder titled slideshow. Our second image, third image, fourth image, and fifth image. All right, so we found some music. Let's go ahead and download that into our folder. All right, so let's open up Premiere Pro. We're gonna create a new project and we're gonna title this project slideshow. Now it's important that we set the project location to the exact folder that we're gonna remember where everything is. In this case, I've created a new folder called Slideshow. So I'm going to save this Premiere Pro project in that same folder. Once you've done that, we're just going to go ahead and create this project. Next step is we want to add our images. Here we have our five images we can select and bring right into the project. Now, if you know the size of your slideshow, uh, that you want to create. We're gonna go ahead and create a new sequence to bring in our images now. So we're gonna come up to File, Create New Sequence, title this Slideshow, and we want to come to the Sequence Settings. For the sake of this video, we're gonna set the frame size to 1920 by 1080. That's gonna be standard HD Slideshow. The time base can be set to 23.976 or 24 frames per second and our square pixels set at one. Let's go ahead and select one of our images and drag it in. Your image might need to be resized, but we wanna click inside our image. If you don't see this effect control panel that has you know, position, scale, you can come up to window, come down and click on um, effects controls. All right, then you're gonna see your effects control panel show up. If you don't for some reason, you can always check your workspace by coming up to Windows, Workspaces. Just make sure that you're on editing for the sake of this tutorial. Making sure that your image is selected, we can now use the motion and position to change the size you know, of our image. And then what we can also do is we can change the duration of our image by grabbing the edge of it on the timeline and making it shorter or longer. So we can drag in our next image, click on it, and we wanna resize it you know, to something that looks good and we can change the length of that image. Let's do the same for the remaining three. Now you can see we have five different images in our slideshow. Next step, what I wanna do is add music. So coming back to this folder, I downloaded a song. We can go ahead and drag and drop that. We can extend the length of this song so that it goes through our whole slideshow. You might need to choose two songs, three songs. All right, so now one thing that can be really cool with a slideshow is to add motion. So this is also gonna be utilizing the effects control panel. Let's go ahead and click on our first image and come up to effects controls. Now we did change the position and the scale for this image. Essentially, if we wanna add motion, the first thing we're gonna to need to tell Premiere Pro is where do we want this video to start? Well, once we find that start position by changing the scale and the position, we wanna go ahead and press the toggle animation or keyframe buttons. Then let's go ahead and highlight these keyframes and drag them to the front of the video. When the video starts, we want the position to be at this specific point. Now let's go ahead and maybe zoom up a little bit or select the end position for this slide. Once we've changed the position now, it's gonna automatically create two new keyframes. Again, highlight those keyframes now and drag them to the very end of this frame. Now, if we play from the beginning, you'll see motion on your image. Now, before we export this, I wanna go over transitions and adding text. So if you come to the effects, again, if you don't see that, you can always come up to window and make sure that effects is highlighted. We can come up to video transitions and you'll see some already available options in Premiere, you know, like dissolve transitions. We could add a cross dissolve in between two of these frames to have a transition where one frame you know, cross dissolves into the other, right? You can dip, you can add a dip to black transition if you want, you know, there to be a fade to black in the middle of your images. 
All right, so go ahead and play around with the transitions and how to add transitions in Premiere Pro to your images. The final thing that you can do is you can go ahead and click on the type tool. You can click inside your preview monitor and you know you can type anything you want. Let's say happy birthday. You can always either locate on the essential graphics panel, you know, and click on that text to open up your screen where you can customize and stylize, you know, this text or in the effects control panel, you can open up, you know, the text and you can also, for example, change the color. You can change the font, right? If you want to, you know, play around with that, you can change the position. You can also apply any of the transitions you know, to the text if you want the text to dissolve in, for example. So once you're happy with your images, your music, your transitions, your motion and text, it's time to export our slideshow. Make sure to click inside the timeline and go ahead and press X on any part of your project. You're going to see that there's these selection frame that popped up. We want to make sure that we drag the first frame of that to the first frame of our video and the last frame of that to the last frame of our video. This is going to select what portion of our video we want to export. Once it's selected, we're going to come up to File, Export, and click on Media or shortcut Control M. This is going to pop up a preview of our slideshow. We can play it, listen to it, make sure that the first and last frame are selected. And I am going to recommend the preset high quality 4K. Now you're going to want to title your video so we can just title this, you know, slideshow. You can click on the location to choose a specific folder where your video is going to export. So let's go ahead and click that same slideshow folder. Come scroll down and change the target bit rate to 20. Making sure that you followed all these steps, we can go ahead and click export. Once you click export, you're not going to be able to use Premiere Pro as it exports. And once it's done, you'll be able to open it up and preview your entire video. We have a Premiere Pro playlist on this channel that answers hundreds of questions in Premiere Pro. If you have specific questions that we can help with, just drop them in the comments section below.